Model Rocks 321 here, back with another launch video. Today we got the Starship Vega, and we have the Century Vulcan I'm gonna be flying today. Just a couple flights real quick to get out of here. It's getting a little bit hotter now in Arizona. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to check the links below. Use the Estes discount code if you need to buy rockets, engines, or anything else. And we're gonna get some flights off. Also, check the video that's gonna be on the end of this video. Keep on watching, Model Rocks 321. All right, guys, here we go. We got the Starship Vega going on a C65. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There it is on a C65. And parachute is out. Coming down over, it's nice and slow. Good deal. I lost it in the frame, I believe. Yeah, I lost it. Oh man, I don't see it. Is that it? Yeah, I lost it. Yeah, it should be in frame, I think, about right now. Sorry, guys, I lost the Vega in the frame. But as I get closer, we should still see it. Coming down nice and slow, though. Pretty cool. 18 inch parachute I switched it out I believe the original called for a 12 which that thing was coming out really fast but this is like nice and slow nice and slow the Starship Vega is coming home touching down directly in front of me gentle landing that was nice that was nice as long as there's no big breeze and use a bigger parachute, you should be good. So that was cool. Very nice flight. Here we go, coming up on the Vega. Gave me a little walk, not too bad. There he is, land down. There he is. Good touchdown. That was nice and gentle, so I'm not expecting, yeah, there's nothing broken here. We are good. All, all three of those wing fins are good. Parachute, good, we are good. Excellent flight, excellent. I'll take it. Model Rock 321, subscribe to the channel. Here we go, coming up on the Vega. Gave me a little walk, not too bad. There he is, land down. There he is. Good touchdown. That was nice and gentle, so I'm not expecting, yeah, there's nothing broken here. We are good, all, all three of those wing fins are good. Parachute, good, we are good. Excellent flight, excellent. I'll take it. Model Rock 321, subscribe to the channel. All right guys, next up we got the Century Vulcan. This is a very ancient history kit from way back by Century. That Century got bought out by Estes. You can still get these kits, they're around. I think they made them a little bit bigger. I forget the name of it, I think it's morerockets.com. I think he sells them. You can get them, they're all like a shroud and everything with a tube in the inside. But we're going to get this going on a C65. It's Model Rocks 321. Let's check it out. All right, we got the Century Vulcan going on a C65. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. Spiraling up into the air. Check it out. <laughs> five second delay. Boom. Separated. Parachute's coming down. And the body's coming down. Separation, got the phone recording. Parachutes up there, the body just hit. Yeah, there's some spirals up there. But I believe that is the cone and the parachute coming down by itself. Come down pretty fast, so that's not that's not all bad. It's not drifting away. And this is the original shot cord, and it was a piece of elastic. And we can see what happened with that old elastic. I figured I could get one more flight out of it before doing a total switch. But parachute just touched down, we'll grab the body first and head on over. I like those spirals though. The first flight of it went, it was a straight up launch when I launched it a while ago, went straight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the, and here we go. There's the Vulcan body and then still in it. Yeah, did all these spirals. Yeah, shock totally gone. I figured that was gonna eventually get me. 
Now I will def definitely switch it out with the full Kevlar. And we'll head over here. Hopefully this is still the cone. I'm pretty sure it's the cone. It's coming out fast. There we go. Yep. So cone and shock cord is all here. Yeah. Oh, actually the shock cord lasted, but it was the, <laughs> wow. It was just the uh, the shock cord mount that came loose. So all good, all good. It's Model Rock Street 2-1, guys. Hope you enjoyed these two flights for today. Today was just a quick little, quick little flight. It's just two. Just two today, but we will be back with more. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more. Bring you all kinds of model rocket content, tips, tricks. Share it with a friend. Go support the links below if you like model rocketry. Keep, help me keep this going. You can donate if you want. You can use the SD's discount if you want. Support, support, support. That's what make this hobby go. Model Rock Street 2 1. Let's do it. Be out of here. All right, Model Rock 321 debriefing time. So you saw two quick flights today, the Starship Vega and the Vintage Vintage Century Vulcan. Both are vintage, one vintage by Estes and one vintage by Century. This is a very old kit also. I bought it a while ago, just restored it. There's an old video of me restoring it and making it look weathered and old like it is, or as you see it. Um, yeah, it flew really nice. The engine's still in there. I usually save that until this part in the video. Take the engine out of here. See, no one get stuck. There we go. So yeah, just a, a C65. Nice flight. Uh, five second delay seemed to be on time. It was at Apogee. Parachute came out. Drifted, round, drifted down nice and slow. I flew this probably a year or two ago. Um, it's a video. And it landed and it broke a fin. I think that was the last time I flew it since the broken fin. But now it's all fixed up. It landed good. Everything was perfect. Very nice, super stable rocket. Really nice, really nice design. This is one Estes should bring back. There is a Super Vega too. There's an also a, a bigger version of this. Um, really good rocket though. Very good. I just added these burns. I did all this weathering to it. Just give it that look. Like old vintage sci-fi look. So that was that one. Very nice flight on that. I give it a top grade. The next one was the Vulcan. Um, it kind of twirled and it spun, spiraled it up in, into the air. And I got some separation. Now this is the old shot cord, but it didn't break like I was thinking it may have break, broken, but it just separated from the, um, the shot cord, the shot cord glue. Guess this old glue finally gave up and um, the ejection just popped it right out of there. And that was also on a C65. This one may be stuck. I tried earlier, this motor I may have to use some uh, needle nose or something to try to get this out of here. Yeah, there's something falling. But yeah, I'm going to try to get this motor out. There's just another C65. I may not be able to get it right here. I don't know. Uh, stuck. Yeah, this one's stuck in there good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. Yeah, this one's stuck pretty good. Yeah, guys, I may have to use something else to get this out of here. Let me see. I may have to use it this way. But yeah, it's a really nice flight. It's like spiraled up into the air. Then when the ejection happened, I got that separation. It's not a lot of room in the body tube on this one. Um, I was glad that the parachute it did come out though. Like so. Oh man, this is yeah. This one's gonna be rough. He has a tight fit going in and a tight fit getting this out. So it may not happen on camera, guys. But <laughs> anyway. This has been Model Rocks 321. Let me get this parachute off here. I'm going to get this all fixed up and it'll be flying again. You'll see another flight of the Vulcan. Yeah, I'm gonna get this all fixed up. I'm probably definitely gonna replace this by now. It's time. But that elastic seemed to be holding pretty good, but I'm gonna go on and replace it. Go on and replace it. Other than these two flights, that was all I had going on. But as far as builds, you can see my Jupiter C is coming along. I've been filling the uh the spirals in the body tube the cones all done now this had an option well it is it's, they say don't glue in this is the uh the actual the the old payload explorer one this is the payload the satellite that it was carrying you know they say don't glue it in but i meant to find a way to hold that in more tight you don't want it to get lost during flight but other than that everything else is coming along good got the launch lugs on there filling the spirals the fins are all built up if you saw that technique video where i drill holes and then I put glue down and I put the fins. These are on really good. Um, yeah, everything's looking looking pretty cool with this one. You got these little scoop here, scoops here. One goes on each side. And you got your engine hook there. Vintage, all vintage. Everything is stock. 
I didn't replace anything. I'm just get a replace. This going to be Kevlar a shock cord, of course, but looking pretty good right now. It's looking pretty good. Nice size to it. About the same size as the Mercury Redstone. Um, of course, the booster is yeah, very similar to the Redstone, but all built up fins. All built up fins on this one, but it's looking pretty good for right now. Um, once it's all done, I will get this out and I will be flying it. Love to fly scale, so this will be part of my scale fleet. So that's it for today, guys. Model Rocks 321. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check the links. Support the channel any way you can. I appreciate that. Join NAR also. I was in that article. Um, but you can't get the magazines in bookstores anymore. Only through NAR. You can get them as a back issue. So mine would be the May-June 2023. I'll never forget this now. So you can get that if you want to read the uh, article all about the SR-71, my Project X version. The two engines. So that's all I have for the day, guys. Use discount code over at Estes. Check my website. Check the links below. It's Model Rocks 321. Catch you on another video.